This module will introduce you to the concept of medical leadership and will facilitate your personal leadership development. The module has been developed in partnership between Edgehill University and the Royal College of Physicians for Health Education England North West. The curriculum has been informed by the Faculty of Medical Leadership and Management uh, Standards. Through this completion of this module, you will gain 20 credits at master's level. These credits can be utilised towards an MSc in leadership development. The assessment strategy is tailored to meet your individual leadership development needs and will be of reflective um, context. What we shall now do in this short video is navigate you through the module. The key point to navigation is the left hand menu. So if you look at the box to the left, you'll see um, announcements, um, module information, module content, module assessment, how we communicate and the learning resources and support that's available. We'll take each of these sections in turn. So first of all, we'll start with module announcements. So if you click on module announcements, this is how we communicate with you. We will post announcements to say um, where the room is, where we should be meeting for the sessions. We'll post announcements to, as a reminder to complete certain of the self-awareness tools prior to the following session. The second thing that's important is module information. The module information, um, the first folder at the top where it says module overview. If you click on this folder, it will give you an overview of the module in terms of your uh, seven steps to your leadership journey. This will describe um, how you will navigate through the module um, from the face to face to the online um, module units. It will also give you um, an overview of how the actual module has been put together if you click on the medical guidance documents that have been used. There's a concept map which explains how each of the individual sessions are mapped to the module learning outcomes. And you can see that some of the sessions take place face to face, some of the sessions are online. Um, it, we, there's also an overview of the online units and the self-assessment tool that you have completed prior to starting the module. The second folder on the left is called module content. The module content is all colour coded and is divided into six sessions. The sessions alternate between face to face and online sessions. So if we go back up to the face to face session one, the blue box, if you click on here, you'll find all the slides that we will discuss during the day and all the key documents that are required um, to complete both this session and that need to be completed before the next face to face session. If we click back on the breadcrumb trail at the very top, it takes you back to where you started. So as you can see, the next session will be an online session, which is divided into three core units, and then you've got a choice of optional units. The next session is face-to-face, -face and will focus on your self-awareness tool results. The fourth session is online. Again, there are three core units that you need to complete, and you can choose from a range of optional sessions. Session five is face to face, which will focus on managing and leading change. And then the final session is session six, which are the um, choice of the pre-consultant units. There are four online units that you can choose from. Okay, so if we navigate back to the left-hand menu, we're now up to um, module assessment. So if we click on module assessment, this takes us to um, a page where you have all your module assessment information and resources. Um, there's some really useful stuff in here, so uh, click into it, have a look at what we've got available for you, and we will give you lots of information about the module assessment as we go through. There is a, an audio session which is in relation to reflection and portfolio construction, and we'll explain that, the, that you will be building a portfolio through the process. Then we've got frequently asked questions. Now this is um, questions from previous students, and we've um, try to give you as much information as possible to preempt any anything that you might need to know. So there's stuff about where to find your module information, about the formative assessment and about the summative assessment. You will be submitting your work through Turnitin. 
So there's a little online guide here um, to how to do this. this is this is electronic um, submission. Um, when you start the module, there will be an assessment box ready, and we'll we'll demonstrate that to you. Okay, so we've moved back up, and we then go to um, the learning resources and support. Now here we can link you directly into our library catalogue. You'll get a username and password that will enable you to access all our resources and you'll use the same password to um, access this, this version of the library. You'll also have access to the, the actual physical library as well if you want to get a library card. Here you can find um, Discover More which is a really useful online database. It will link you to learning services, subject resources and if you look across the top menu here so we've got if you want to ask um, a question you do this if you want to look at um, any of our electronic um, resources any of our journals here the reading list online this is where you can find the module handbook um, the reading list that we've got for the module and if you want to use um, an online ref working system you can do it here and you can actually search into this box so i'll just close that and we'll go back to where we were so we're back in now into um, Discover More, which is our online database. And it's as simple as putting a search term into this box. So leadership is quite complex. So if you put leadership up, you're going to get millions of things. But you might want to put clinical leadership and culture and doctors. And that will actually start to refine your search. Generally, you'll get 100% um, matches. So you don't just get an abstract. You might actually get the full journal article. So that's very useful to try. I close that down. Um, this will take you to the module reading list. It's directly hyperlinked. It will take a couple of minutes to load. You will notice that it's quite a long list, but if you look down the side, the reason for that is that we're trying to give you different alternative approaches to access. So you can see that we have this Bridges. It's a book, but it's also an ebook. So you can choose which way you want to access material. You'd rather have a hard copy in front of you or if you want to access our materials online, they're there for you. As you scroll down through the list, you'll see journals and you will also see directly linked into websites. So that's really useful and it's directly hyperlinked so you can go specifically and, and look for a resource that we've, we've signposted for you. I close that. Um, a very useful tab, which is Faculty of Health and Social Care Resources. Um, here you will find a whole range of support resources from learning services. If I just move you down a little bit, if we get to this part, here you can see Harvard referencing. Now we will actually be using Harvard 2014, which is an alphabetical system. So this is something that would be really useful to download very early on, put on your, on your screen so you've got available to you. It, it may be a system you've not used before and we will give you some extra support and guidance as we go through. And if I take you back, there we go, we'll take you back. Um, and then we have some Blackboard help. So I think if I just scroll down, I think we kind of covered all we need mm. to do there. Mm. So basically, the left hand menu is, is the area you need to contact. Mm. So we really hope you enjoy the module. We look forward to seeing you on the briefing day. I suppose the key things at this point to remember to do is, is if you go into module information and you have a look at your handbook, those are the key documents, is your module handbook, if you print this off or save it somewhere, and your reflective journal, mm. because you'll be keeping all your reflections throughout your module. So at this point in time, those two are probably the key Yes, absolutely. Yes. Key, um, Good ones to that, download early on. Yeah, okay. So we hope you enjoy the module and we shall look forward to working with you. Okay.